Somewhere in MiHoYo headquarters, a Chinese businessman is tasked with a job of making more money. Klee Banner sold pretty well, so why don't we take this and make another child terrorist? And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, just like that, version 1.1 started off with four new characters. You know I grow restless when life is ordinary and boring. Though in Liyue... Fine, I guess you are my little pog champ. Tartaglia, the second child terrorist. Diona, the bar owner, hires Diona because she's cute. You know, I would check Monsat laws for child labor, but I realize she's a cat. There ain't no laws for cats. Zhang Li, Big Dong Zhang. Xin Yen, whom today I learned shared the same VA as Barbara. What can you take from this? Xin Yen is Southern Barbara. Ni Haori, partner. When I call Tartaglia the second child terrorist, you might think it's Klee. Are you here for playtime with Klee? No! You got him? And the other him. As a veteran player, I don't even farm this domain anymore. He doesn't do anything. You just kill him in three hits. So out of respect, I won't beat up children anymore. But there was a time where his difficulty was lore accurate in the Archon quest. You had to go through Tartaglia, but instead of being everyone's bitch in the story, dude was basically Tartaglia New Game Plus. Your strength is praiseworthy. I too shall use all of mine. This guy just cut my head off with one move and party level 35. Really? Party level 35, my balls. about to get tough. Now, show me what you can do against the What the dog doing? What the dog doing? What the dog doing? What would happen if all men die? Get good. It's just a boss fight. Yeah, but it's not a boss fight. It's a boss all you can eat. The devs saw how only five people cleared this fight, and eight days later, he got nerfed in the story. The lore accurate Tartaglia that we know and love was found dead in a ditch right behind the golden house. I'm sorry. Hey, buddy, hold still. This move went from WHAT THE HELL After the nerves? Now it's like You know you love me I know you can Just show me never A touch of frost And I'll be there You are my love You are my Let's do Heart And we will never ever ever be apart I'll be an item. Stand back, stand back, stand back, and I'm We're just friends. What are you saying? Said there's another in the dry in my. Hush, little child. Hey, look, guys, this Tartaglia boss is so easy. 79.9% .9 of travelers killed him on their first try. But what about pre nerf Tartaglia? I said. 79.9% .9 of travelers killed him on their first try. You guys remember the very first leak to ever exist? You know, the one with Zhong Li kicking the spear and everyone was like, Oh my god! What a beast! Unreconciled stars! Some dude sprinkled Shungite all over Teyvat and is killing everyone! The meteorites seem to harbor a strange power. A power that sends any who touch them into a deep sea. Also known as Scaramouche, the hat guy. Hi! Uh. Sounds interesting. Mind if I join you? Why does he sound 
like a veggie tail character. Mind if I join you? You can see this came to be the first rock type event. Collect rocks, kill monsters, collect rocks while killing monsters. If the reward from Elemental Crucible was like a slice of pizza, Unreconciled Stars, it's like nine pizzas. Peasants became king this patch, literally. Thank you, Scaramouche. Thank you for your customer service. It's a shame he kidnapped Fischl and held her hostage behind a ransom, but at least you get her for free. This would be my first Fischl for the next two years. Well, they don't call her the Princess and Div uh, Lucha Lung for nothing. Catherine, vassal of the Imanachai, rejoice! For to join the Princess and Def Ertelung on her majestic mission, I. Official von Luftschloss Nofedor, divine protection of one's Edelstein der Dunkelheit. You dare to parrot the parlance of the princessin for the princessin de Ertelung? Do you mean to say there are others who have fallen into a similar slumber? One has witnessed with one's own Og de Ertelung. I am Fischl von Luftschloss Nofedor, princessin de Ertelung. Princessin de Ertelung. I hail from a distant and long-lost land known as the Imanachai. The in my what, right? Remember when I said Unreconciled Stars was like nine pizzas? Well, you actually play as a pizza delivery man for this event. <laughs> Hey, I ordered a pepperoni pizza a minute ago, and I was wondering what happened to it. Sorry about that. I'm currently climbing Mount Everest to deliver your pepperoni. Every order you took had some troll-ass requirement. Like the person ordering doesn't want their food to be wet, but he's under a waterfall. I'm surprised that Wang Shu In delivers this far out. Hey, look at this guy over here. He ordered a slice of bread and the Avengers. I have to get through the fucking Avengers to deliver your one slice of bread. Oh, what's that? You can't glide, sprint, climb? Hey, I was wondering where my chicken noodle soup was. Just give me a moment, for I am currently being gunned down in the middle of this street. You guys remember when the Valen was totally broken? <laughs> The blue shoes, do I? This guy was the buggiest shit ever, and he's not even a bug. When you pass the speed limit and you no clip into his ass, when you pass the climbing speed limit and you teleport back down. Yo, Venti, this edible ain't shit. Wait, what? That's insane. That's a bug. That's a bug. That is a bug. This is why I fight Andreas. At least he has no bugs. This was truly back when we had important discussions like which teleporter was the fastest to Andreas. But then they added portable waypoints in the game. So why would you go to any of these when you can teleport straight in it? <laughs> People often associate touching grass as a sign of mental wellness, but they never specify if it had to be in real life grass. The grass in Genshin at this time was killing people in game in real life. Pyro characters were basically unusable in the overworld because everywhere they go, their skills would start burning the grass. For some reason, 1.0 grass was bugged. It wasn't scaling with your world. What's the worst that could happen from fixing the grass? Whoa, dude, this is totally fire, man. <laughs> they eventually nerfed the damage next patch, but for 1.1, the grass was hot. How to remove grass in Genshin Impact? No ban, no grass, Genshin Impact 2.0, fix lag and boost F. PF? This is why you never fix the grass. It just kills people. You see, 1.1, Felt like if 1.0 had an update. We had some of the greatest changes during this time. Resin cap increased from 120 to 160. And they never changed it ever again. Condensed resin, also known as I don't want to play, but I'll log in to avoid capping. Characters dispatched on expeditions are no longer out of action. First of all, why would you be out of action for 12 carrots? You can lock artifacts and weapons. Just like how I'm currently locked inside the back of a car. They finally added the blue archive in Genshin. Guess who's going to 
The crying emoji seems to be what's keeping us together here in the chat. Sadly, you can see everything except for how many hours you have. On a second thought, Diona being a cat, Sucrose being a dog, Chong Yun Chong and out. You can now feed the dog. What? You can now feed the dog. <laughs> And can we talk about how hype this trailer was for its time? No. Diwa was once a peaceful place for boats, but now... Oh shit, get me out of here! I was having a nice sandwich. All of a sudden, there's just this hentai monster. You piece of shit! Bring out the Chinese Avengers. Guys, I'm gonna need some help. Greetings, Trailblazers! Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Genshin version 1 Build a Bear Workshop. Today, we're gonna be building Shang Ling. <laughs> the best way to go about building her is going straight up attack. If you can get as much attack as possible, just put it on her. I just gotta say, I'm in love with the Crescent Pike right now. I love that it does what it does. It's gonna scale with my character as I build her up, or future spear users. Do keep in mind that Shanling is not to be played for just to drop her skills and switch out. She has great damage capabilities and should remain on the field when your other characters are rotating through their skilled cooldowns. Hey guys, I'm back with a new video today. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Jiang Ling. If you guys don't know, Jiang Ling is a pyro character so obviously you're not gonna get every single stat possible so the main two stats you want is for the base stat you want attack so on the first two you cannot get attack so the first one no actually the first artifact is hp then the second one is attack so she's a pyro character that's why i'm in this pyro flamey area the reason we're going with chi chi here is because Chi Chi works very well with Faisal to support Zhongling. So on the last three, you want to get attack percentage. If you can, you want to get that attack percentage. Uh, now, for the substats, if you can get attack... 41, 41, 41 at the bottom. On top of the attacks we had at the top. And again, this is going to scale so well. <laughs> Bonjour à toutes et à tous et bienvenue sur cette nouvelle vidéo. Celle-ci par exemple, pic du croissant. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Further Beyond Gaming. My name is Cody GT and in today's video, this time around, I wanted to do a bit of a character breakdown for my girl Jay Ling. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. The main stat, of course, I want is base attack as long as i have base attack then i can work with it so this crescent pike is insane like it does a ton of damage once you get this leveled up once you get your artifacts ready to go you build her for a ton of attack percent you don't have to build elemental attack on her you just have to build a whole bunch of attack with these two builds shangling's four star weapons of choice can be the prototype grudge the main reason is as i mentioned earlier shangling is not a character that you use just for her skills with shangling's normal attacks she is one of the fastest attacking characters in the game and with few ways to boost attack speed currently this makes her normal attacks a very good source of dps <laughs> She's a very good attacker for, uh, let's say, 1v1 situations. In in group situations, is a little more tougher because she does kind of puts her feet down. But that's this is where her charge attack comes into play. Um, this is really a good charge attack. I don't use it too often, but it is good to um, reduce the distance um, to go ahead and get closer in range with the enemies. Spear users coming out in the future, which is Zhao, which is the one we've seen from the story, and we've already seen Zhang Li coming out. This is going to be a great item to invest in because for them, they may be your normal attacker. You know, you may be wanting to normal attack with them, and I think this item will withstand the test of time. Her power NATO, I love it, man. I love it. I love it. <laughs> like, you guys don't know, I am a huge fan of it, and you get it so quickly, the power NATO. And you get it so quickly, the Pyronado. That's how you can build her up. Uh, definitely go attack, 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 attack. If you want to build a crit, you can, but I'd say attack, she definitely go insane. She is way outdated for where I am. I'm like world level four right now. If she was up to date, you guys would see mad numbers. I got another Shangling build. This time, I like to run him with Wolves Tombstone. My setup is usually with a uh, Pyro Damage Sands.
Do you know the story of Durin and this mountain? Hot diggity dog! This place is magnificent. Mondstadt was so good, it got a DLC, Dragon Spine. This region actually makes sense. At no point in my Mondstadt journey did I ever find the Mondstadt. My disappointment is immeasurable. I'm at the harbor of one of the most prosperous trading hubs. Where's the Liwa? 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 Sing Chu? Dragon Spine, on the other hand? Oh, you actually find the Dragon Spine. We did it, guys. We found the dragon spine! This place was magical. We got snow. We got boars. We got more oculi to farm. We got new enemies. I have no enemies. It was such a nice change from the green plains and the orange mountains that we were so used to. Everything in dragon spine was out to kill you. I remember the first time I saw a ruin guard. I thought it was a ruin guard. Oh, you know, it's gonna do that hand clap thing or the spin move. And then it just... You got the classic places like Albedo's camp, the entombed city, the caverns, the nail, tree, bones. Give me, give me, give me some it has a little bit of blue for everyone. And the underground, they were dangerous, but they were never overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. I was picking up Cheeto dust on Mount Everest. Do I, do I for Christmas? This wall statue shit, the tablets, secret rooms. Yeah, no problem. It was a fun time. Get your ass back here! Except this one. If you know, you know. Dragon Spine doesn't just look cold. Your characters will actually feel the cold. Sheer cold was never that bad. Grow up. Oh, come on, man. I can't have shit in this house. Ten ways to prevent coldness in Dragon Spine. Number one, kill your- Guys, love yourself. That's all I gotta say. You should love yourself now! The music. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. For a soundtrack that's meant to be very soothing and warms the heart, this is the shit you hear when you're freezing to death, and for that, I give Dragon Spine the coldest soundtrack in the game. I was an idiot back then. I tried to pyro the ice off the teleporter. The amount of times that I died from freezing to death outside the artifact domain, it's too many. There was this one place where you see these frozen boars. What the boar doing? Oh, nothing much, except that one time it stampeded over a child. You can feed the foxes. What? You can feed the foxes? This is for you were like a grandpa airship into some snowy mountain. What is going on? The whole area is just breathtaking. That's why it's number 15 in Genshin's most breathtaking locations. Dragon Spine to me was a fun little pit stop. I found the lore interesting enough not to skip. The free shit was annoying, but it never disrupted my exploration. Grow up. And I'm not gonna lie, unlocking the nail at the top Life after everything. You serve all purpose. It really made me feel like I was in the Dragon Spine. The summon of Dragon Spine is peak exploration. That is a factually correct statement. I, I literally cannot be wrong. Do you like the way it sounds? Sound, 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 sound. I can get it now. The Chalk Prince was what I like to call the DLC to Dragon Spine, which is also a DLC to Mondstadt. The DDLC. Just like Unreconciled Stars, you kill monsters while collecting rocks and cash out in the shop. Sadly, no one kidnapped Fischl and locked her behind a ransom, so you might not get her for free, but we got the Festering Desire instead. No, I won't explain what it does. Look it up. Towards the end of the event, there was this flower boss. What kind of lame-ass whopper flower looking at- Say what you want. 
but I genuinely could not kill this guy solo. <laughs> At least with Crucible or Unreconciled, you got your run-of-the-mill Bob Burger Hilly Churl. <laughs> I am someone who couldn't give a rat's ass about co-op content in this game. I prefer the lone wolf method of gaming, but this whopper flower was kicking my ass. So I enlisted the canines in a collaborative effort to subjugate my skill issue. There were phases where you had to block its 1 billion damage move and seeing your team all huddle up only to then beat the shit out of this stupid flower a minute later? It really festered my desire. The story in Chalk Prince was so homogeneous with Albedo that when you search up gameplay of the event, you often see it lumped with Albedo's story quest. And honestly, it might as well be a permanent side story. Homo. Genius. New players had to be there when Reckless Pallid killed Sucrose. <laughs> And not only that, he went for round two! <laughs> let's talk about me, let's talk about you, let's talk about the Prince of 1.2. Albedo's first banner was a heist because the four stars stole the spotlight. You had people fearing for their lives. If it's gold, I walk into traffic blindfold. If he wasn't already six foot deep in the grave, Ganyu walked over and built a house. No, she's not a support. She's a bow character. Then why does she have an RPG? For a character that had cryo amber allegations before her release, Ganyu eventually became a top tier DPS. If Ganyu is a cryo amber, Yoimiya is the pyro amber. It's really a matter of preference, you know? Some people love her char shot gameplay and others wish they could char shot themselves in real life with how boring it is. If cryo, why hot? I'm telling you, there is no mortal human being on this plane of existence that can resist those chicken drumstick legs. It is impossible. We have the most tagged Genshin character and a guy who creates life. Albedo is literally Life Weaver Overwatch 2. My platform is here. Coming to be. He is Life Weaver Overwatch 2. Gone you. Gone you. I'm gonna say it. Gone you has some of the best demo music, and I don't care what anyone says. She is literally the GOAT! Get it? Because she's literally a GOAT! Just look at Ganyu's demo. Why is she sleeping in the middle of nowhere? Police? 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 Look at her. What is this scoundrel doing sleezing around these three brutes? Someone pick her up! And then look at him! He just turned the butterfly into a chicken? A chicken? Marvelous merchandise. Let's be honest, it's the girl of your dreams, but you're stuck with the Dollar Tree version that is the monthly web check-in. We also got a quaint face for ascending characters. Nothing too special, just a quick influx of like a hundred pulls. Piss silly! Piss silly! Let's talk about the January 8th. 2021 incident. If you go back in time, you see a shit ton of people addressing the resin problem. Genshin Impact's 1.1 resin change will not solve the problem at all. This game has a resin problem. Math inside. The resin changes are not enough. Genshin Impact rant. Why does resin even exist? Remember last patch I said they never changed the resin ever again? This is a true statement, but on January 8th, inside a Chinese PlayStation, there was a $5 resin pass for an extra 40 resin per day. If you were someone who was unsatisfied with the resin system, Mihoya Solution? Hey, buy this $5 resin pass! $5 for 1260 resin. Some players see this as a $5 investment, Others see this as $5 to get fucked. Depending on who you are, we never saw it ever again. The pass got removed the same day it appeared. What? 
Why? Why did it get removed? We'll never know, but one thing I know for sure is that we don't need more people flexing their artifacts. Fuck you and your 40 CV looking ass. The day has finally come. Man, I can't fucking sleep. What is that noise? Is someone moaning? That's it? Good. Lament! Hey, uh, can you keep Evil it Evil cock ring! Get out of my way! I'm coming. Zhongli, Tartaglia, Ganyu, Albedo, get these frauds out of here. We only care about Xiao. Oh yeah, that's right. Do the Xiao thing. Holy shit! Oh my god! Xiao! No! Oh! Come on, man. Don't be that way. We all got our demons. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? If you were an early Xiao farmer, farming artifacts for this guy really made you feel like you're Xiao. Fucking shit. You had to farm a two-piece viridescent, but the game's like, hey man, what's up? You been farming for Xiao? Well, isn't Xiao a pretty lonely guy? And a lonely guy needs more maidens, right? He needs more maidens. Once you're done with the ass blast viridescent domain, whoop de doo jackass, you need two-piece gladiator. What's that? They only drop from bosses, so it's actually two times more expensive resin-wise? Thank you, Xiao. Thank you for the 706 cryo stones. Pain, suffering, why do I even live? Who am I? Who? Tao! <laughs> Did you know Hu Tao's Japanese voice actress is Rei Takahashi? She has voiced prominent anime characters like Megumin from Konosuma. Hey everyone. So earlier today, I saw someone post about this 300 thread, this 300 tweet thread, but this one, this one dude talking about Hu Tao. <laughs> character seems to be bringing something cool to the table. So, when will he be joining the game? Xiao will be available through his very own character event wish. Sometimes, I forget that Kaching had a banner. What you doing pulling on the on the Kachin banner? It's a free-to-play bait! No, you, you can't be pulling on this banner, it's a bait, it's a trap! Five must no trap! Number five, I stole- Despite what nostalgia wants you to believe, the first lantern rite is forever immortalized as a Liwa festival without any Liwa characters. I can't say this word, man! Shit! Besides Xiao, none of the cast ever showed up. They all just died on this seemingly important day. Let's go, baby! Lantern right! It's time to do the lanterning! Let's go! Xin Yan, how's the hand? Man, get out of my way, yo! This place is so, so packed! Kaching, what you doing up there? Now isn't this lively? Go moon gazing with Kaching. She died in a car accident ten years ago. You have to let it go, man. You need the Albedo, please give my sister back. No, I mean Kaching. It is I, the magical crystal Albedo ball. Ask and you shall receive. Sucrose. We need to cook. It is I, Ketching. The real Ketching that died 10 years ago summoned to go moongazing in a dead lantern right festival with the Traveler. Instead, you were running around doing fetch quests. It really made you feel like you're in a festival. 
if you were the staff slaving away. Young traveler, this girl wants one Qingxin. Go and pick Qingxin flowers from atop the summit. What I need to go to the summit? I have a hundred! I said, go and pick- So here I am climbing Krakatoa for one flower that I have a million of. What's her problem? Two thousand years later. <laughs> <laughs> this one is a fresh chingshin. Got a paddock on my wrist doing front flips, giving you my number, but the Oh god, not again. How many more mountains will I have to collapse? Oh. This guy just wants the shitty chingshins. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! I don't mind NPCs, but when you're throwing 20 si 26 NPC world quests? 28! You've gone too far. I'm here to enjoy the festival. Why am I fixing your dog shit boat? Help me take this picture. No problem, iron ingot. Lantern right? More like lantern I need rights because so, everyone uh, was using me to run help? their errands. What am I, some kind of dog? The requirements for unlocking these fetch quests is literally called city of chores. Even the game's calling this shit out. We could have enjoyed Shen Yen's concert with Zhang Li. He would like it. Her music rocks. Helped Beidou with her boat. Not this guy's boat. Never again. Cooked with Chang Ling. <gasps> Arranged marriage with Ka Ching. There was so much potential here. Come on, you can do better. What's that? They gave us a four star selector and 10 intertwined fates? Take everything I just said back. Theater Mechanicus was one of my favorite events added to the game. I had so much fun running around just killing hilly trails and building walls. Nothing stops the wall. <laughs> Freeze was absolutely busted. Build a house of cryo towers, go barba, and you just insta win. It was a good mode to chill and have fun. From Wrench Wang and his shitty boat. You had these mystic arts. There was an upgrade system for towers. You could strategize with placements. Genshin Balloon's tower defense gets my approval. The end of Lantern Rite, despite the fetch quest, I ain't gonna lie. It got me a little bit emotional when the Bambi start flying. This scene of Xiao staring at the festival alone because his Sundari ass can't be caught in his fields around the traveler. He's just like me. A lone wolf. 1.1 you feed the dog. 1.2 you feed the fox. 1.3 you feed the Xiao. But don't forget, Lantern Rite also had a web event. Light five lanterns and win up. Billion Primo Gems. It's a real shame you don't get the whole billion, but at least it's split for all travelers. So when Christmas came and everyone got their Primo Gems from this web event, word got around that not everybody got the same amount. It was discovered that the Primo Gem rewards was RNG between 108, 188, and 288. <laughs> I find it funny that you get more primo gems doing nothing waiting for maintenance than a web event where you have to remind yourself to do five times. I didn't give a shit about the difference in primo gems, but I got 108. <laughs> I will not be silenced. What if the Romans won the siege of Constantinople in 1453? Well, what if I also won 288 Primo Gem? Imagine going to work and your boss goes, it brings me great pain to announce that from now on, salaries are now distributed through RNG. We got the first ley line overflow. What am I, some kind of poor person? There was this commission event where they gave you primo gems. <laughs> don't remind me, don't remind me, <laughs> don't do it, don't do it. Kaching, what do you think of this patch so far? This patch had so much variety with the events from having an updated universe to our favorite, Animal Boy, Shi Ao. It really made me appreciate the love and care me ho you'll put into their games, I mean, come on. 180 resin to 240, double drops, free 10 pulls, name a better gacha game, 
I can't wait for the trailblazer to reunite with his sister next patch. Remove this part of the message when pacing. Whoa, 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 whoa. The money None of that has been sent business. to your account. Did you know that the battle pass never gave fragile resin, but it was actually 1.3 that started it? You know what else 1.3 also started? Events not requiring resin. <laughs> Zhongli buffs are live. I repeat, Zhongli buffs are live in 1.3. Every single patch just keeps getting better and better. Genshin always delivers that good stuff inside us. Wait, what? Barbara's voice line got changed. Let the show begin. Let the show begin. No, 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 no. We can do it. Come on. We can do it. Barbara, what's going on? Ta da! Barbara is here! <sighs> All the standing around is making me so sleepy. Are you tired? Try my new spicy energy drink. I don't want to see you hurt. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Genshin was my favorite game, and you did this? Look at the Traveler's face! He's crying! ka -ching? Let's get out of here! Fuck you! I'm going to be downloading this game on my three other devices to play the upcoming Wind Bloom Festival. Unlock Venti <laughs> and explore the world of Teyvat! Someone please help! Version 1.4 It's a little embarrassing to say, but... This patch had one of the most surprising trailers when it started off showing the Wind Bloom Festival, and I was like, yeah, this is pretty cute. Then I saw this, and I was like, what? Seeing all this made what's coming even more worth it, and I'm not even talking Rosaria. It was when you thought it was just a silly little festival with mini games, then they hit you with the most kill shit thing you've ever seen. And that's when I knew this patch was gonna be a banger. You warm up in Kovacs, I warm up in Bullseye Balloon. We are not the same. Gliding events? Classic. Ballad of Breeze was the first rhythm event, although you could only play four songs. The best part about this was the wind song Liar. The moment people started getting it, holy shit were people going crazy. This guy playing on a keyboard? This guy's playing on a keyboard! This guy's playing on a keyboard. This guy's keyboard plays itself. This guy's editing the keyboard. How many games can you play Sans Undertale? How many games? These professionals are starting to piss me off. also got mini games in mini games. These events were a little silly. Mom, can we have Fall Guys? Son, we already have Fall Guys at home. <laughs> we have Fall Guys at home. Genshin Impact Fall Guys type mini game should be permanent. Could improve end game engagement. Yeah, you walk past five bubbles. <laughs> the end game is definitely gonna go crazy on this one. Hey, well, what's this guy doing cheating in one of the modes? Hey, you can't do that. Mods, if we could perhaps kill this guy real quick, that would be much appreciated. The devs were really yaffing out these little schleppers. Poof head? So what else did Windbloom have? Kaya! Kaya is the type of guy to pick the urinal next to somebody. That guy's a freak. If there's anything bothering you, you know you can talk to me. It was the Mondstadt Festival with Mondstadt characters. <laughs> You serious? I, I, I received a letter. Oh, it says, it says. Someone sent Barbara a death threat. Dear Barbara, I've stolen the thing most precious to you and buried it. My sister. Okay, I can deal with the voice lines. Killing her family? After investigating the letter, we found out that it was someone's way to get Barbara's attention. What kind of fucked up way is that? So sorry.
sorry to get your attention this way. Let's be honest here. It was you, Albert. Albert. You might remember this guy as Barbara's number one simp. Well, now he's back in the festival. Come on, guys. Albert gets a bad rap. He gets clowned on a lot, but what's so bad about being outside the location of one of your favorite idols? Always watching. I'm just such a huge fan of Mondstadt's idol, Barbara Sama. You must have heard of her. She's the super cute one at the Church of Favonius. Not to mention gentle. I'm the head of the Barbara fan club. Huh. Pretty pleased about it too, by the sound of things. So you talk to this dude in the festival, and he's like, Yeah, I'm thinking of building a big-ass statue for the one and only Barbara. So, this giant statue will be about two stories high. Paimon then calls him a dunderhead. A level-headed adult? Huh, more like a dunderheaded infant. <sighs> but gifts have to make a lasting impression. I agree. Trauma definitely has a long-lasting impact. Albert might be one of the most hated NPCs in Monsat, but if you stop and think... How many fucking Alberts do we have in this community? Hey guys, it's me, Nimrod. Who's Nimrod? I'm afraid I'm a bit of a drunkard. I'm nearly always in the tavern. My wife hates me drinking, so we're constantly arguing. Another day, another drunk. Uh-oh, what's that? Bennett is in prison for the murder of five kids in a pizzeria? Lock him up, Amber. The gliding champion almost crashing into Noelle and killing her. Hey, my man, Timaeus. Hey, who let these two criminals out? We can collectively agree that Monsat is the homiest region. That's why there's no straight people. Free four-star weapon. Free four-star weapon. Look it up. No, Fischl isn't getting kidnapped. It was nice to see Mihoyo learn from their mistakes. That is the first lantern right, and for that, Windbloom gets a festival out of 10. Aside from your typical run-of-the-mill kill monster event and marvelous merchandise, did I tell you that you can become Pokemon? Tell me this isn't the best event ever created. We need more events like this. I know I just said Pokemon Genshin Impact, but I hate Pokemon. This event had a pretty cool idea of taking a boss and making it into an event. It's like farming them in the overworld, except you get more rewards, and the gameplay actually feels like you're fighting Oceanid. I remember the first time I played an Oceanid was... I hate Oceanid. She just does so much damage with her goons and that shitty bubble explosion from the frogs. Why don't we just Pokemon every frog from existence? Oceanid nowadays, you should really call her Snorshinid. It's the most boring ass thing ever. Oceanid in this event was like, ah! Oh my god! The last time I felt any sense of challenge or danger when doing world bosses was 1987. Was when Bennett bit the frontal lobe off that kid. 87? These bosses are just chores. That's the whole point. You just farm them and forget about it. But the Oceanid event made her interesting to fight. And I think that every now and then, it's a good event to have instead of the same potato enemy dungeon fight with buffs. You get this Endora pet. She doesn't disappear when you go swimming, unlike this pee pee piss silly. And for that, Endora gets the Fontaine stamp of approval. I'll be checking in to see if she's fireproof when we eventually start diving into volcanoes for Natlin. We Will Be Reunited was a huge lore dump that dragged you straight back into the whole reason the Traveler's here in the first place. Where's the pizza? The festivals were cute, but now we're getting serious. I will do a very light spoiler. I promise it's nothing. You meet Lumine in the quest. I think it's universally agreed that the Traveler being silent 99% of the time suck ass. I can live with it, but at least make him speak his shit when it's arguably one of the most important moments, like being reunited with your sister who got kidnapped and put in a box? <laughs> Princess. Hey! Could that be? Ether. Ether, why are you with Dane? 
can we let Zack eat? He's getting breadcrumbs every three patches because he says one sentence. Like, imagine if this happened. It's the end. You conquered all seven nations, sacrifice everything, Dainsleeve gets naked, the heavens are pissed, and it cuts to you, standing before your sister, reunited once more only to have a fucking staring contest. How many times am I gonna have to explain this to you, you fucking piece of shit? Just make sure your account can actually do damage, because if not, be prepared to spend more time fighting these stupid ass ruin guards than reading the story. Condensed resin cap increased to 5, wow, you can lower your world level, whoa, they optimize Xiao expression when casting elemental skill, this game just keeps on getting better and better. Travelers will also be able to restart the challenge mid-combat in the abyss. It took them 4 patches to realize that having a retry button in the abyss was a good thing, you get a secret achievement for changing the dialogue volume. I'm over here stroking my- Can you hear Paimon? Hey, are you just messing with Paimon? It's back. Genshin's back. And then they nerf Rosaria's chess. How is this playable? Is it really Genshin if I'm not coming? Coming! Like coming to the App Store to download Genshin Impact. Pull for you law and fight against Shut the Asta Ha in a tense battle to save the traveler. Shut up, Kaching. I'm not in the mood. Genshin was back, now it's not. Rosaria got nerfed again. I tried the new and old outfit and something felt off. So I started measuring and this is the result. This is exactly the leading edge mathematics that I come here for. Give back Rosaria her boobs. As the world is already going through a difficult time, Rosaria's nerf was found to be both unfair and saddening. Genshin Impact players demand respectfully to give Sister Rosaria back her boobs. I don't want to be that guy. I don't think we're changing shit with 30 signatures. NPC 1.2 Rosaria had enough missiles to take out Conria. <laughs> I have Dan! Don't do it! <laughs> Rosaria feels like Genshin's punching bag for censorship laws. Look at this, your honor. We are doing our utmost best to ensure that our ladies are fully clothed. Because being naked is not professional. Oh my, Hoyoverse. You're doing such a good job. Keep it up. Psh. Hey, they bought it. You can bring them out now. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, hey. What are you doing with that lady over there? She's very inappropriately closed. Could you please patch her up? Oh, don't worry, your honor. Leave the rest to us. Oh, fantastic. Excellent work. Psych! That's the wrong number! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! If you guys do not know how you guys can download Genshin Impact on your mobile, well, you guys are at the right video because I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can do that exactly. So in mobile, it's only available for iOS. So if you guys are an Android user, you cannot play Genshin Impact. So first step, you want to click on App Store and open your App Store. Once you open your App Store, go on versus search and at the top, you want to write Genshin Impact. G-E-N-S-H-I-N-I-M-P-A-C-T. After you search for Genshin Impact like this, it's going to be shown over here called Genshin Impact. But that's basically how you guys can download Genshin Impact. So hope you guys understand. If you guys did, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. If it is fated, we will meet again. One of the hypest trailers we've gotten so far. What is a turtle doing on my screen? Ass the ha. It's one of those things where I spell his name different every time. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is bad. Oh my goodness. Zhongli, 
Zhong Li, I'ma need your help. Hey guys, look at my uh teapot. Yen Fei was the new four star on the chopping block after Rosaria's head got chopped off the block. And despite what many people tell you, she's not a lawyer. She's a legal advisor. Is that the same thing? I don't know, maybe I should look it up. You usually don't want to pull for specific 4 stars because you're gonna hit Pity or 6 Noels, but she was running with post buff Zhongli, so you could make a case to pull for our 4 star legal advisor. Get it? Make a case. Yula on the other hand, oh my goodness, she's one of the hottest characters, but I'm sorry to my fans who look up to me. No one that hot would make me play physical. She's a physical carry. What am I gonna? No, I will not be coming. This was once part of a ceremony for aristocrats to show off their status. Maybe I'll come. Chances are near zero. Near zero. Dude, what is this, man? You can't just play a hot girl sneezing and expect me to put. You really ought to learn some proper etiquette. No, no, no. Don't do it, aka shot. Remember when you moon gazed with me? Yola is a ho get this scoliosis head ass out of here. You will never replace me. I'm number one. Number one. Number one. Who the fuck are you? Let's talk about this guy. Ass the huh? More like bullshit the huh? This guy was making me angry. He just had so many stupid moves. Please don't. No! <laughs> Crap! Age the huh is literally. Satan, and I can prove it. Go to the wiki and look at his scaling. 666. And you might be like, oh, it's just a one time thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you think it's just a one time thing? Coincidence? I think not. He is Satan! He's Satan! If you're struggling with Astaha, you need a healer. Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're gonna talk about healers. So you might be inclined to ask, well, who's the best healer for Astaha? It's Zhongli! Age Daha. Age Daha is not a boss fight. It's Zhongli propaganda. First time. <laughs> Little stupid ass, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck about you. We are literally entering Ajdaha's ass every time we fight him if the crystal tree is equivalent to his tail. Multiple invulnerable phases, check. Long animations. If you could please hurry the fuck up, it would be greatly appreciated. You're holding everybody else up because you're an inconsiderate bastard. Check. Criminal hitboxes. You got it. Elemental resistance. Nice. The ley line disorder where he marks minorities without shields. I love it. This guy has the HP of four Devolans. He's also the first weekly boss where you go into his ass. <laughs> it is time, Morax. We settle this now. Come. Hey, Star. Shall we get going, you and I? More axe. Are you satisfied, Easter? I hate this guy with a passion when he came out, but you know what? He made rage beneath the mountains. He made rage beneath the mountains. You can do anything, King. You are forgiven.
With the introduction of Teapot, you can now put child in prison. That's all he's good for. There are people who main Teapot, Fortnite building some of the craziest shit. This is not even Mondstadt. It's Teapot. You can build farms, go to the pool, you can watch porn! <laughs> You can get married! Oh, you thought I was joking? Then you have me over here turning my house into a Bitcoin miner. You know what else Teapot also has? Naked Raiden. Why did you look? There's no Naked Raiden in Genshin Teapot! Win Trace! This is the best event. I think I got like five best events this video, but it's prop hunt. What's not to like? This was one of the most fun events because I just spend the whole time trolling and doing the dumbest shit. Don't mind me. I'm just a box in a tree. <laughs> Oh my god, is that the real Lumine? Well boys, we did it! We found our sister! What's the point of going through all these Archon quests when we have Lumine right here? She was playing hide and seek the whole time. <laughs> Hello! Oh shit, that's a child kidnap- Uh oh. Don't do it. F and his best partner in crime, Muna- I'm a lamp. I'm a lamp. I'm a lamp. Shh, shut up. Shut up. What did I say? We gotta lay low, or else our friends are gonna die. We gotta. Sky. Five tips to succeed as a hunter in the Genshin Impact Wind Trace event. Number four. Pay attention to your surroundings. <gasps> Energy Amplifier was the new kid in town, except this new kid got captured by aliens, probe, and clone three times. Cause I'm seeing a pattern between events and collecting rocks. Fool me once. Took my shoe. Fool me twice, have a bowl of rice. Fool me thrice, have this cat! You can get a free Diona in 1.5, and no, she didn't get kidnapped. She's not a kid. She's a cat. There ain't no loss for cats. Does anyone know how to get Diona in Genshin Impact? I'm in PS4. Help! Help! How to get Diona YouTube video. Diona, she got the shield, heal, cleanse. Common sense dictates she's a support. So why does she ascend with cryo damage? Why is this here? Is this for people who lost 50-50 to Ganyu? Santa, can we have Ganyu for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> Misty Dungeon, you can play as Mona. Three years later, I still don't have Mona. Mimitomo was our first racist of- <laughs> During this event, players will have to track down an unusual hilly trail. The players will get some help from hilly trailian expert Ella Musk and her handy handbook of hilly trailian to communicate with other hilly trails to find whereabouts on the unusual hilly trail. So you basically conspire with a little kid to target unusual hilly trails. Oh, let's find the profile of this hilly trail. Why? Because it's unusual, that's why! A unusual hilly trail has been spotted in Windrise. Mods, kill his whole family! Hey! Why are hilly trolls helping us? The non-usual ones! Iza! <laughs> Killed this guy's brother right in front of him. Oh, it's hungry. Ah, uh, yes, the fate of my species rely on a fucking piece of fish. Now with this, I will tell you how to kill more of my kind. Out of pocket for that shit. Snitches, man, telling all their business. You rock up to the location and the guy's bing chilling out the ass. He even brought his anti-racist friends, but I'm sorry. You were sold for a piece of fish. Yeah. I'm only human after all. I'm only human. But does racism even exist when you are a hot anime girl? God damn! Look at the, look at the way she moved. Listen, man, you can't just have two minutes of Yula dancing and have it be a good day. Oh.
I thought you said no one that hot would make you play physical. Well, Kaching, it's a good thing she's cryo. <laughs> I'm here every night Sunday, recorded in front of a live studio audience. But during all these shenanigans, Patch 1.5 started a change that evolved the hardcore experience forever. Festivals come and go, but now, we got the Abyss Patch. There's a reason I didn't talk about the Abyss until now. It was baby. Ruin guards, mages, Fatui Pyro Agent. What kind of times were we living in where this was considered endgame? Now we have Heralds and Lecters in the Abyss. Get ready for the level 100 tag team double fisting session. That is, if you can even make it to floor 12. Floor 11 had this slowing water debuff and you can't even dodge it. It made your cooldowns a hundred times longer. So if you don't have a cleanser, your flight to Guangdong province is now ready. Get ready to learn Chinese, buddy. Oh, and you know what? We also have the Water Avengers! Yes, because we need more! Get the Avengers in here! Get the Avengers in here! Tony Stark! Fuck me in the ass! We went from boing boing slime and treasure hunter semen to intergalactic aliens! Back in the good old days, when everyone was a noob, trying to defend the monolith from a horde of hilly trolls without venti, changes a man. That shit was fucked up! You better not shoot me one, you piece of- This was the beginning in a new era of endgame content and it's crazy to see the evolution of Abyss. Abyss in 1.2? <laughs> You piece of shit! Oh my god! Is that a world in the sky? What is it doing up there? Tell me I'm not inside Jurassic Park right now. How did a goddamn train get in here? They had dinosaurs in this game. They got dinosaurs in this game. Yo, 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 hey, 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 hey! Are we even playing the same game? They got an alien. What is this? You're bringing out my worst enemy now. The chicken now? Come on. What the hell? Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do, and so do I. I believe that until people get every man, woman, and child is The Golden Apple Archipelago is a scam. There was never a golden apple anywhere despite searching the entire ocean. The boats were introduced and it changed everything. When you explore the whole game on two legs, you start to appreciate non-leg transportation. We got a boat. Tell me how many games have boats? You were like a grandma airship into some random ocean. What's going on? Wave riding all over your enemies, exploring caves, going to Brazil. There's a random rock in the middle of the ocean with a tennis court. The puzzles required 4D chess and balls. It was pretty fun to see that shit slap back and forth. And while they were pretty fun, they had this rock puzzle. I'm like Sisyphus, brute forcing the solution. Eventually I'll hit the right order. Get the f Fuck out of here, and you! What I will ask you though is, can you give me one more day? I'm not asking you for a week. This guy was so immersed, he climbed on the wall, and instead of going up, he went back down and climbed up the ladder. There was a secret island top right on the map. No, not that one. This one. You had to navigate through the fog. You can bomb hilly churl houses. No! Don't take me back! There was a locked chest. You had to open it with a code. Yeah, I'm googling that shit. Look at this puzzle right here. Look at it. What? Look at this! I don't like these child favoritism puzzles. It's a good thing he's <laughs> locked up in teapot prison. The whole island was screenshot material. To be honest, the whole game is screenshot material. When it comes to music, I truly believe that a good ass soundtrack elevates the gaming experience. You can have a piece of steak, but if there's no seasoning, it's gonna be bland. Music seasons the game. We're gonna get a little bit more on there. I have fond memories of Dragon Spine and Golden Apple because of their beeps and boops. While playing through the map, you would listen to shit like this. You 
you stop and wonder. This game has been out for three years. What have I done in the last three years? And it's the nostalgic tunes giving you these thoughts that makes me appreciate the OST in this game. Because looking back, the first archipelago in 1.6, there wasn't really a lot, but like Dragon Spine, it's a fun little pit stop that makes you feel like the golden apple. Except this scam ass place, never once did I see a golden apple. Unlocking the archipelago breaks my heart to see Lumine fall and break all the bones in her legs. The main gist of the story can be summarized like this. Ah uh, yes, that. I should start with how we ended up here. We arrived by dragon, but as soon as we entered the island's vicinity, something caught Razor's eye. He jumped straight off of the dragon's back and vanished into the ocean. We worried that he'd be in danger, so we also leapt off the dragon. Time for retribution! Hey, don't die on me! We got our first skin in the game. Barbara has a duck! Jean looks real dapper in the intro. I'm honestly surprised Hoyoverse hasn't milked the shit out of skins, because if you think about it, we have so much official art of characters in different outfits, and when you consider the amount of Alberts that play this game, Hoyoverse, why are you ignoring this free money glitch? They have to be saving skins as a trump card. Ah, shit! Revenue has been going down. The players are leaving. What are we gonna do? Hmm. Let me see from my years of business. Yo! Why don't we just release Naked riding skin. We're rich, baby! But my immersion skins are gonna ruin everything. And while I don't want LeBron James Fortnite. <laughs> at some point, you have to consider, is it worth breaking the canon timeline to have Kazuha and Beidou dripped out in front of a car? You're telling me. You don't want Ayaka in a kimono, Faruzan coffee, school outfits, sportswear Bennett, KFC Noel Diluc, Pizza Amber Yula, Scientist Tignari Kole, Boba Ganyu Shenha, Boba Kamisato, Three Hu Taos, Convenience Store Yoimiya, Pizza China, Tukin, Marriage, Pizza Jean? Come on, you don't want Pizza Jean? We also got a new world boss in 1.6, the Magu Kenki. Compared to the other world bosses at the time, he was different. I'm the guy! I am a noble elemental life form that dwells within bodies of pure water. I am born from a draconic calamity. I have reached the highest level of elemental purity. I was imbued with the essence of biting frost. <sighs> I, I take, take ten, ten seconds, seconds to, to stand, stand up. up. Magu Kenki, could this be Xiao Senpai? Yeah, that looks about right. Magu Kenki photo shoot. I gotta admit, I was at least half chub watching his introduction. Why is this guy so cool? Why is this guy eating a leaf? Kazuha to me is a character that you don't really know you need until you press skill into burst and then you're like, yeah, this guy has the most satisfying gameplay. He's versatile, can group enemies, smooth animation, stamina reduction, empowers the team. He kind of chill like that. Everything Kazuha does makes your life more fun. He does a little bit of everything and he also gives a little bit of everything. You don't need him, but after using him, you can't go back. Kazuha? It's the salt of Genshin. And his demo? Hey! Watch out, what the heck? You had this Inazuman exile kicking ass, and the music went so hard, even his enemies started breakdancing. Like a melody. So it might surprise you to see that I skipped him. And this is a problem I have with Genshin in general. When you put my queen Ayaka the patch after Kazuha, how can I play? I want to pull for every character, but I can't unless I spend money. I want to give you the money. You ain't not giving me shit! You fucking know! I wanna give you the money! You're lying! Wait... 
That's how gotcha games make money! What kind of sick business move is this, miHoYo? You're gonna expect me to sit there and skip the soul. I have no choice, it's blasphemous. Blasphemous? Like the Klee banner running along Kazuha, except this time she's had enough- <laughs> But deliver us- We got a free 4 star weapon, uh, Dodoko Tails. Look at- It got me thinking, Festering Desire, Windbloom Ode, Dodoko Tails, how do you get these if you miss the event? Well, lucky for you, they have a system that lets you replay past events. Thank you, Hoyoverse. Download the game today and play as Dunhung from Genshin Impact. Aside from that, the rest of the patch was Kaboom Ball and killing bosses in Vagabond. Midsummer Island Adventure felt as if Genshin had a summer update. Let's relax and talk about that one time everyone thought Ulfur was a pedophile. Back when the game came out, there was this dude outside Monsat standing next to a river. So you talk to him and find out he's building a boat for this Flora girl, so light and dainty. One day, I will confess my love to Flora on board a dandelion boat. It's such a shame that my last few attempts have all sunk on their maiden voyages. Then he gives you 5 crabs and honestly, that's pretty sweet of him to keep working on his boat for this girl he likes. And then you're like, wait. Flora, isn't she that 10 year old that sells flowers? What the fuck? This guy just tried to bribe me with five crabs! I'm sure even Mr. Krabs does not approve of this. But then I found out that this was all a setup. Ulf R has to be the most sabotage NPC in Genshin history. I found out that Flora was never actually a kid. When did she look like this? So I did a little bit of investigation, might I say so myself, and I found out that this Flora was Beta Flora. And for some reason, when the game came out, miHoYo turned her into a kid? And they never changed his voice lines? So they forgore. Police. Bitch. Put yourself in his shoes. The last time you saw Flora, she was taller than the Traveler. Everyone is calling you out for being a pedo and what can you do except stand there because you were programmed to confess to your lover who got turned into a 10 year old by your creators and they never changed your dialogue to compensate. The twists and turns in this story is enough to be its own movie. But miHoYo, they remember. They finally remember. They changed his dialogue about Flora, so now it's a cute little family story. They ain't believe in us. God did. 1.0, we're kidnapping kids to confess to them in the middle of the ocean. Now we're taking our little sister on a boat ride. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna answer the question that we've all been having on our minds since you've been watching this video. How does it all come back to Klee? Kaching? Bring out the lobster. Tell him to bring out the lobster! Kaching? I don't like you anymore. You a simp. I'm gonna be catching you later. When Genshin was released, who was there at the beginning? Klee. <laughs> when version 1 ended, who had a rerun? Klee. Coincidence? Well, actually, yes, but then I saw version 2 and 3. Both ending with Klee banners, and it was then I realized that Klee is Genshin's true endgame. Version 4 is also gonna end with Klee, and the game's final version is also gonna have Klee in it as well. The Klee fan theory that has Genshin Impact players talking, Klee's appearance might have to do with her mother. Oh shit! Whoa. W-A-I-T, W-A-I-T. If Alice is Klee's mom, that means that Klee is Alice's daughter, According to this logic, that must also mean that Jean is Barbara's sister. This also means that 1.6 is called the Midsummer Island Adventure. Wait a minute. Midsummer Island Adventure. M. I. I. E. 
Missing in action. The golden apple has been missing in action for the whole version. Or is it? Hey, Vsauce, my version 1.6 was released on June 9, 2021. 06 09 2021. Add the numbers and you get 2036. 1.6 16. Hello, 2036 minus 16 equals 2020. Genshin Impact was released in 2020. It also has 11 letters. You know what else has 11 letters? Golden Apple. 11. Archipelago. 11. If the golden apple is 11 letters and the archipelago is 11 letters, according to this equation the golden apple is the archipelago. Archipelago are known as a group of islands. Islands. HMM. HMM. Apple. Islands. Oh, it was so obvious. Signaling, 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 signaling. Central control, can you hear? Yes, kicking, what is it you want? This is an emergency, an emergency city. Central control, please bring up the archipelago. Okay, initializing sequence boat, bringing up the archipelago. <laughs> Stop! Enhance! Enhancing onto Golden Apple Archipelago. Oh my god! My god! Come on now, you got to be kidding me! You got to be kidding me! Audible gas! The golden apple was there the whole time! It... it wasn't a scam?